So, your boy has been tagged in a video. Want to know what it is and what it's about? Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense. Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Even if you're a dad, happy Mother's Day to you too because you know we know sometimes things in life happen and sometimes you end up with single parents. I know a lot of people don't think dads can be single parents. Parents, <laughs> parents can be single parents, but they can be. So if you're a dad out there, let me get that off my, uh, that was Mr. John Castro, the original dog man, commenting on something. Anyway, uh, dads can be single parents too. So if you're a single dad out there, happy Mother's Day to you. First of all, second of all, or third of all, or wherever I'm at, uh, I was tagged by John Castro, aka the original dog man, to do a video, to do a tag video. And it's four beast mode fragrances and longevity and four beast mode, or uh, four monster projectors. Four beast mode, four monsters. Okay, here's the problem. I just recently did a video called Beast Mode and which I did some of my best performing fragrances in that video. And I also just did, and um, also a lot of the reviewers that has done this challenge, like Mr. Cheap Sense, uh, you know, some other reviewers, used some of the fragrances that I was gonna use. So I had to dig deep off in my collection and find some fragrances that I thought were great performances, performing fragrances. I didn't necessarily come up with four beast mode or four monster projectors, but I did come up with some fragrances. Second of all, I wanted our third, fourth, fifth of all, whatever. I want to tag a few people. One, Barry from Centralized, I want to tag you. Uh, Sam Broom, your tag, and then my boy, uh, Uncommon Sense. He's a fairly new reviewer. He's, I think he started his channel about the same time I did, but I'm a fairly new reviewer too. And I want him to partake in this challenge as well. Y'all check his stuff out. Uncommon sense, you have been tagged. Those are the three I'm gonna tag. Now, another thing I wanna talk about before I get into my fragrances, and I promise you I will be swift with my fragrances. Um, we got this 700. Seven, we had 700 now. 300 away from 1,000, that's the next milestone. I'm gonna do a small giveaway. I've got two of these to fill, and I think I'm gonna do two winners. I've got two of these to fill. Okay, whoever the two winners are, when we do the drawing, you can pick anything from my collection and I will fill these up and send them to you. I'm not sure. I think they're five mils, but whatever. Just a little token of my appreciation. Excuse me, man. Now, we're two minutes in and we ain't even talked about fragrances. So let's get to it. The first fragrance on my collection of Beast Mode performers are projection monsters, however you want to say it. Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne. I absolutely love this fragrance. To me, it's timeless, it's it's classic, it's barbershoppy, it's manly. I like it, I like it a lot, it smells amazing. I get good performance and good longevity out of it and the price point on it is amazing. I picked this up and a aftershave of about the same size for about 19 bucks. This is my extremely cold weather days, which we don't have a whole lot in Alabama, but sometimes around the January, February mark, somewhere in there, mostly January, we get some days where the temperature doesn't get out of the 30s or 40s and it may be just a week where it's like that if it's an occasion where i have to go to church or something like that and i have to reach for a sweater this is what i like to put on when i'm reaching for that bill cosby sweater you know and i get to put in and mix the little pills up hold on never mind forget i said it when i'm wearing my sweater my biggie smalls coogee sweaters i like to wear this because it's it's just it's just clean it's masculine it's fresh it just has this bite to it and i love it and it's inexpensive but it, i get good performance and good longevity i would i would say it's beast mode and monster the next one is an oldie too obsession i love this fragrance and they don't smell a lot apart the paul sebastian and the obsession don't smell a whole lot different but to me, this one has more of a cinnamony vibe to it, but I love this fragrance, y'all. I love this fragrance, and this thing stays on my skin forever. 10, 11 hours, it projects well. It stays on my skin a long time, so I think this is a monster projection. 
a monster projector and a monster performer as far as longevity goes. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, moving along. The next one on this list that I think is a beast mode performer, beast mode uh, monster projector, Alfred Song for home, the purple juice. Love this. Again, another barbershop sort of a uh, sort of fragrance, but it smells good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the way it smells. That's my wife coming back in. Come on in, Kels. That's Kels coming back in. She had to go drop off some flowers for Mother's Day. Kels, you want to say hi to the people this, today? Come say hi. Hello. She looks so pretty today, y'all. Come say hi. Hello. The lovely Kels. Happy Mother's Day, baby. Thank you. Did, I, did you have a good Mother's Day? I did. I had a you great did? Mother's Day. Thank you. She racked up. She racked up. She really did. All right. Now, where was I? The purple juice. I like this fragrance. I like it a lot. It's a monster projector. It's a beast mode performer or vice versa, whichever one you want to say. And I wear this a lot. Kales has a convertible Mustang. And a lot of times, if I know ahead of time that we're going to put the top down, I'll put this on because it, it, it stands up in the wind. And again, it's inexpensive. I don't get as much performance out of it as I do the uh, Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne or the Obsession, but I do get good performance out of it. Not quite as strong. Probably six to eight hours out of this where the other ones, they're closer to 10 on my skin. Now, one, EJ Wells, Happy Land Studio. This one is green Irish tobacco. Now, I could have picked anything from his house and put it on it that I have. And I've got about seven, six or seven. Every one that I have from his house is a monster performer or projector. I could have used Cure Cafe and, and um, Barbershop, I think, but I used them in the, the last video. I'm telling you, if you mess around and get this on your shirt, it could stay on there for days, weeks even. I, I sprayed Cure Cafe on a sweatshirt that I have. Wore it to town, came home, took it off, hung it back up in the closet. Two or three weeks later, that stuff was still on the shirt. Uh, no joke. EJ Wells, Happy Land Studios. This is Green Irish Tobacco, and it is a sweet, light tobacco fragrance, but this stuff stays on forever. Monster performance, monster projection, and that's anything from the house of, of uh, Happy Land Studios. I like it. I like it a lot. Great performing fragrance. Probably the best... Some of the best performing cologne that I have is from EJ Wells. And I could, I have others, but like I said, I, in the Beast Mode video, I used a lot of them. So this one, I had to dig off in my crate and find some stuff that I haven't really talked about. Another one that I get Beast Mode projection and Beast Mode performance out of, and it's a really cheap fragrance from a house that has had a lot of talk, Cuba. And this is Cuba Prestige Black. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, it's funny. <laughs> Cause that lady that just popped her head in here, <sighs> she refers to this, and I say this with the most, at most amount of affection. She refers to this as Smoky Baby. That's what she calls it, Smoky Baby. When I wear this, she's like, "You got on Smoky Baby? Why? <laughs> because it's got a smoky accord to it, and it smells like baby powder. Smoky Baby." I wore this to bed one night. She woke up, sniffed, and said, Smokey Baby, and went back to sleep. And ever since then, this has been referred to as Smokey Baby. But you should probably call it Cuba Prestige Legacy. And I wear this one a lot in the wintertime on cold days when I'm just hanging around the house. It's a very inexpensive fragrance, but it, it's, it's masculine. It's smooth. It is a little bit smoky, and it is a little bit powdery. Very unique fragrance. I'm sure it's a clone of something. What is cloning? I do not know, but I'm sure it's a clone of something, and it is very cheap. Okay, one I talked about briefly yesterday, yesterday, a couple of days ago, and this is a great performing fragrance. This is Michael Germain's Tattoo Jungle, and this is a rose-based fragrance. And I'm telling you, something about this fragrance garners me compliments. I get asked all the time, hey, do a most complimented video. I'll just be honest, that's not my style really don't like doing a most this or a most that. I may reach off in my bag of tricks and bring you five or ten of this, but I don't really like to put fragrances in order because that's kind of subjective. You know, everybody has their own thoughts of who's who and what's what. So I kind of hate to do that, but I get asked all the time about most complimented fragrances. This is one that is a head turner and a compliment getter, and I'm, I don't know why. It's very floral, 
but at the same time, it's it's warm and masculine, if that makes any sense to you. So, and uh, I wish I could remember the fragrance that I had on the other day that this reminded me of, or reminded me of this, but Michael Germain, Tattoo Jungle, Monster Projection, Monster Performance, at least on my skin. And that's the thing about doing these videos. Everybody's skin and chemistry is so different. Everything doesn't react the same off of everybody, but you know, it is what it is. But this is a cheapy, if you can still find it, I, only thing, you know, what is it with me and caps? You know, caps don't live long around me. The only thing I don't like about this is the cap. Clearly, because I keep throwing caps around. But anyway, this is a great smelling fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. It, it performs well. Stays on my skin a long time. And it, it's a very, for a cheap fragrance, it has a very natural smelling rose note to it. Go figure. Go figure. I don't know who is the perfumer for his uh, for Michael Germain's company or who ha bottles it for him. I don't know, but it, it's a nice smelling fragrance. As you see, I, I've, I've put a nice little dent in it. So I'm not just saying, hey, wear this fragrance. And then, you know, I don't. Because that's the one thing I want you guys to understand. If I tell you that I like a fragrance, another notification, then I like a fragrance, you know. You see, that's been used, guys. This is not just, these are not just dust collectors. You know, these are fragrances that I've put in dents in. You know, and I have two or three bottles of this. So these are not just fragrances that I just say, hey, you know, and then don't wear them. I'll tell you about them, too. I'll tell you about them and I'm wearing them. That's just where it is. Last but not least, these on this journey of beast mode, monster, whatever, great performing fragrances. Last but not least is One Man Show. The Gold Edition, and this is by Jacques Bogart. That's a name, ain't it? Jacques Bogart. One Man Show Gold Edition. This one stays on my skin forever, man. Eight, nine, ten hours easily. And it is a warm, inviting, slightly floral, fruity fragrance. Well, I'll take the floral, but well, no, I don't think it's. I spray it on old Moe's card. Yeah, no, not floral. Well, it's like, hmm, something bit me, y'all. Fruit at the top and a hint of floral at the bottom. But it's a very warm, inviting fragrance. I don't wear that a lot during the summer because it is strong. If you wear this in the summer, one spray is all you're going to need. Maybe one to the midsection or one to the neck and then maybe one to the back. If you go more than two, you're going to need some help because you're going to run everybody clean up out that ceramiter. The atmosphere, they gone. Parameter, ceramiter, whatever it is. All right, guys, that's it. Those are fragrances in my collection, sort of a tag video. Uh, again, thank you, Mr. Dog Man, Mr. John Castro, for tagging me in this video. And again, if you didn't catch it the first time, Uncommon Sense, you are tagged. Sam Broom, you are tagged. Barry from Centralized, you are tagged. I'd like to see your guys' thoughts on the fragrances that you have in your collection that are both beast mode and performance and monster and longevity or vice versa. I don't know I'm screwing it all up, but you get the gist of it. Uh, and I'm going to jump off here again. I hope everybody's had a great Mother's Day and have enjoyed themselves. We've reached that 700 mark. I will give you more details about the drawing coming up. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We're going to fill these with anything that I have in my collection that you want. We're going to fill it. And we're going to do two draw. We're going to do two winners. It'll be one drawing, but I'm going to draw one and then draw another, and that'll be that. And that's gonna be the last draw until we get three more, 300 more subs to get to that 1,000. That's our goal. Notice I said our goal because y'all are a part of this too. So that's our goal as a channel to get to get three more hundred, 300 more to get to that one zero 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 more. I know I put too many zeros or whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off here. Happy Mother's Day to all again. Be sure to like, share, and sub. Also, come over to Trey Scents Fragrance Reviews on Facebook. And let's, let's help that channel grow. I think we've just reached 100. We should be way... If I've got 700 subs and 100 on Facebook, come on, y'all. Let's, let's make that grow. Let's get that number up some too, okay? All right, guys. Until next time, stay safe. Peace.